Ladies and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Martin Driver Show. Welcome back to our continued coverage of the Russia and Ukraine crisis. Right now, we're going to look at Mr. Zelensky's press conference and potential response to Vladimir Putin's press conference. Without any further ado, President Vladimir Zelensky. As the this war gets uglier, Russia's tactics are becoming more violent and destructive. Oh, okay. This video from Chernihiv shows a missile strike on a residential apartment block. The blast wave shakes the entire city. That is terrible. And I know that's like a light way to put that. I mean, it's just my reaction. I mean, you're driving home literally driving home and you're just driving down the road to your apartment or maybe you live in one of those houses and just a missile mm. Mm -mm. I, I got chills on mm. whilst the building burns emergency workers rescue dazed civilians and the situation in other parts of the country is just as desperate this is Borodyanka but as these pictures show, it could just as easily be a suburb in Syria. The damage goes on as far as the eye can see. What do you want from us? Go away from our land. You don't want to leave now? Sit down with me at the negotiation table. I'm available. Sit with me. But not at 30 meters like you welcome Macron and Schultz and others. I'm your neighbor. You don't need to keep me at 30 meter distance. I don't bite. It's a more than fair request, Mr. Zelensky. More than fair. Just sit down. Like, let's talk. What the hell is this about? I'm a normal man. Sit down with me. Let's talk. What are you afraid of? He's afraid of the simple fact that he has no grounds to stand on. What he wants, you won't give him. And what you want, he won't give you. Unfortunately... It's such an opposite side of the spectrum, and although, yes, one man is severely wrong, that man who's severely wrong has enough power that that almost becomes irrelevant, that I don't know where the compromise is. He doesn't want Zelensky to be president. Zelensky's not going to step down. I mean, maybe he would, but I doubt it. He's not going to step down in favor of Putin's puppet. So, what is there to talk about? On the south coast, Mariupol is now surrounded by Russian forces. There's a constant barrage of artillery smashing into this city on the Sea of Azov. Civilians have been trapped for days, basic essentials running out in many places. The mayor says even those fleeing have come under attack. They've been shooting at moving vehicles. A humanitarian convoy couldn't even leave the surrounding areas of our town. Today we're in a blockade, and to create tension in the town, they're shooting in the residential areas, targeting civilians, elderly people, children, to create internal panic. And in some places, Russian troops... Can't even let a humanitarian convoy leave. What are they doing? They're, they're literally trying to just leave. home not even home I'm trying to go home they're trying to just leave their home to be safe shoot them too right right Putin troops and tanks are now in control the man recording these images of the invading force is clearly trapped and very frightened I think I should stop recording before someone shoots me on my hand the southern port city of Kherson is the first to fall to Vladimir Putin's forces, leaving people fearful about what the violent takeover will mean. It's a, like very scary because we hear a lot of explosions, uh, especially at night and early in the morning. And we're trying not to leave because I'm here with my grandmother now and um, um, we have enough food for a couple of weeks. Ukraine, though, has... Good that they have food for a couple of weeks, but for missiling homes, I mean, now you can't leave. Now you literally can't leave. They took over your city. Uh, 
you're not walking out of there. Um, I'm fearful for what they're going to do with the controlled cities, personally. And now that's going to start unfolding over the next few days. There's no intention of surrender. Even in places that have been overcome, Russian soldiers have been jeered and confronted by ordinary people. In this eastern town, which has supposedly been pacified, a Russian soldier carries two grenades after a meeting with the mayor to ensure he's not attacked by the crowds. And despite the intensifying brutality, this is a nation that remains united and defiant. They do. Um, they've done a great job um, just showing and standing up for their country, fighting for their country. Even those who can't fight are literally standing in front of convoys. Um, yeah, they've done a wonderful job. Um, to the point of this video, President Zelensky would like to meet. I think he's been saying that for a while. I don't think Putin would do it. Um, and I mean, is it a direct response to Putin? No. Is it a subliminal response in a sense? Because Vladimir Putin saying that, you know, he's brainwashed his citizens, that, um, you know, he's a neo-Nazi and he's just like, sit down with me. I'm a normal guy. Let's just talk. And so it's not a direct response, but I think it does hold weight. So. I was happy to hear Zelensky speak. I wish they would give us more just pure content rather than the surrounding content, but it is what it is.